Hello and welcome back to SnowRunner and our hard mode series. We are continuing on exactly where we left ourselves because that's how we do it. We are trying to deliver our final load of long logs into Island Lakes to the sawmill. And then we are done with long logs. We then have six, nine, ten, twelve. 14, maybe 16, 16 units of medium logs to deliver throughout the, the four maps. It's a lot. <laughs> we still have a lot to go. And we are not as close to the end as I would like to think we are, but we are getting there. Just medium logs. We, we will be able to deliver medium logs two at a time. We're not going to go crazy and try and pull another truck behind us with the logs on it. I've tried that before. I always mess it up. I always roll a truck. It, it never goes well for me. Even if it just had, say, like a, a single, which wouldn't really be much use to me because a lot of them. But I don't know. Some of them take three, still, mate. So I guess it would be. But. Nonetheless, we will be doing it with the uh, the White Western, with um, double medium on the back. That's the plan. But first, we need to get these ones through. And again, because we're doing all the long logs without touching the mediums, no payment still. No payment. But when the money comes, it should come reasonably quick. I don't know. Probably not. We'll, uh, we'll do our best. I'm sure there are guys out there and girls that have um, whipped through this with two doubles. So they're delivering four lots of medium at a time, doing two lots of longs at a time. and The absolute insanity that is that. I am way too scared. <laughs> We have rolled too many times. I'll take this gate, and then our challenge is to get through Smithsville Dam down to Island Lake. Into the dam. We're not going to worry about looking at intros. We've seen them all a hundred times. Plus, that's like, you know, time off our day. Now, if, if I remember rightly, it took a whole episode to deliver some long logs in there from roughly a similar position, start position as before. And we made it then back out into the dam, so... I don't know, this may feel, to anyone that's watching this later on down the line, if anyone does, I don't know. But if anyone watches this series later on down the line, it might feel like a deja vu episode to about two or three episodes ago. But to me, recording it, and anyone who's watching it as it's released, it has been possibly two months um, between picking this up and when we left off before. We've been busy with... We've been... Um, I was saying at the time we were putting some time into NASCAR. That's, that, that's going to come back soon as well, I think, maybe. Um, put some time into Truck and Logistic Simulator, which was a lot of fun. I will, I will praise that up. For the sort of game that it is, in the price range that it sits, it offered a hell of a lot of fun. We uh, we worked through the series just as a little, let's, let's see if I enjoy this, to, right, let's own at least one of every vehicle type and do, like, you know, two episodes worth of deliveries, where it's normally like four or five deliveries, each vehicle type, apart from the car, when we got the car, we just did the one, because it was a car. And that then ticked off like all, all vehicle types other than the monster truck. At the time of recording this, I am you know, trying to be ahead of my schedule. 
So the final couple of episodes of that haven't gone out. So if people would like me to continue on with any more of that, we'll, we'll stick that on the schedule as well. If they want me to grind it out to get the monster truck to see what the monster truck does, um, I can try and do that. And we'll, we'll have a little look. But yeah, I had a lot of fun with it. A lot of fun. I was surprised. I felt like I shouldn't have been having as much fun with that game as I was. Now, to the point that I was... You know, sometimes I was recording like four episodes at a time. Four episodes in one scene. Which might not sound a lot, but it's not, not often I'll uh, have that sort of time to sit and record for two or three hours straight, always. And sometimes during the day as well, a rare treat, so if that's what I spent my day doing, I must have enjoyed it. Because that could have quite easily been, you know, a farm sim stream or, or even farm sim episodes, you know, stuff that's probably, <laughs> clearly going to be more popular on my channel. But I have to, I have to play what I enjoy. As much as I enjoy the farm sim. Not saying that I don't enjoy farm sim, but I enjoy so many other games in so many other genres. Um, but we try and stick to vehicle simulation here, at least. I'm dabbling with bringing back my uh, defunct second channel. We're gonna, we're gonna see how time works with our son now at school full time and my partner's sometimes flexible working hours that offer us a little offer me a little bit more time to do things. It's just it is difficult to try and commit to think about I'm gonna do this and I'll do all this and I'll have this done and I can and say that right we're gonna I'm gonna you know play through one of the games that are on my back catalogue that I want to play through. Um, Days Gone, the Spider-Man series, stuff like that. Like, I haven't even really touched them. Like, I've had little goes on them and, and then gone, like, yeah, I want to do a series on this, I want to record this. And then never touch it again. So they sit there, they sit there waiting. They sit there waiting for free time to magically appear waiting for me to reach retirement age not that I, not that I currently work but you know I stay at home and look after the children that's my job so I guess retirement is sort of when they leave home so, so maybe in 18 20 years if we're lucky i'll have time to play my games so in about 20 years when i'm 61 i'll be able to play spider-man miles morales finally <laughs> oh dear. god of war ragnarok finally get a chance to uh, give it a crack And that's why I often say when um, these silly little conversations turn up online about uh, PC players always having to wait for PlayStation games because they're, they're too tight to buy a PlayStation. Oh, I'm waiting for time to play my PC games. <laughs> I ain't waiting on um, nothing to release. Not in the slightest am I waiting on anything to release. Apart from... Roadcraft. Talked about it last episode. Roadcraft looks sick. How do I get in with Sabre to become like I don't know an affiliate or a partner program like do a giant? So I want to become. I want to test that game for him. <laughs> I want early access. Obviously, there's so many. <laughs> If anyone's going to get access to it, it's going to be someone who's massive, and those that have a massive audience that follows, you know, Mudrunner, Snowrunner, Expeditions. 
I just love, I'd like to offer, I'd sign all the NDAs, I just want to test it, and make sure it's working. If it's good, I'll promote the hell out of it. If it's bad, it will never see it again. I said um, during one or some of the uh, trucks and logistic uh, simulator series, like as much as I hate on Aerosoft, because Aerosoft are an awful publisher, an awful developer, I'd like I'd offer my time to test their games because they need some serious testing. The devs that work under them, like they need some help. They have some really fun concepts and good ideas for games. The execution is 99% utter shite. <laughs> it really is. And I just don't think anyone's telling them. Or if they are, the developers just don't care. And at least by being a tester I'd find out which one it is. Yeah, if, if anyone at, at Saber or or um, I want to say Frontier, it's not Frontier, is it? The publishers of this, who publishes this game? Why have I forgotten the publishers? Because they they're big and they have a lot of games I like. They used to publish um, Farmson as well. That's why I should know. No, it has completely left my brain. My brain's just saying, no, frontiers, frontiers. And then it goes, fractal. No, it's not them either. Anyway, yeah, if anyone, <laughs> if anyone from those, from Saber or. Oh, I thought that was going to come then. Let's try to trick my brain. I'd, I'd happily offer up my time to them as well. Is it front? It's not front. No, Frontier make um, a manager, don't they? Yeah, lots of lots of games under their umbrella, though. And Saber, I'm, I, mean, I am surprised at how much Saber are putting out at the minute. I'm a little, can't lie, I am a little bit concerned by how many. High saber have their finger in at the moment as well. Like they're still putting out content for Snow Runner. There's expeditions that I'm assuming they're going to support for a, at least another year or two. There's um, Space Marines 2, That's them. I'm not a big Warhammer person. Don't know much about it. Other than people are excited about it, and it looks it looks pretty good. They have uh, another like survival driving game. I'm not too certain about. Lot, lots of fingers in lots of pies, and there's a few more sort of announced that are coming from Sega. Obviously, Roadcraft, if I haven't said it. Roadcraft is next year. I'm I'm predicting, personal prediction is Roadcraft for next summer. I think that's when the the latest year pass season 
uh, for um, Snow Runner will be or will will end. I think that's when that comes to an end. That's sort of June, July time. So, I, I'm, 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 I am, I'm kind of assuming that this is going to be uh, Snow Runner's last year of like full support. Whether it sort of goes on a back shelf, bit of a burner, and I don't know, gets a few. A few tweets, a few updates. If they do, can we get rid of the camera that does this automatically? It's nuts that it's still there. It's so annoying. <laughs> so, especially for someone at the minute, I'm playing on controller, and when I play uh, on a controller with a, a, a driving game, a wheel game, so that you don't get that straight jerk of the wheel, I, I usually. Because I used to play a lot of Forza and what have you on console. I um, like to have my thumb pushed forward on the stick. So then you just rotate it around where the stick, uh, you know, glides in there. So that's, that's sort of turning the wheel, keeping your thumb against it. But that automatically, obviously, uh, pushes you forward in view. And then once you get to a certain point around, it then pulls you out. And then back in because I'd, I'd always have it like that, which is not too bad in cab, but out of cab. I want to do that? Then I'm sort of constantly zoomed in. You know that's that's probably been my only gripe with, <laughs> with Snow Runner, but it's a gripe since pretty much day one that I can't rest my thumb where I like to rest it without the camera zooming in and um, the z the zoom in automatically. I mean, it's, it's often a predictor as to when you're about to get stuck because the game likes to zoom you in to focus you. So yeah, you need to concentrate now, mate. Get on it. But yeah, I, I've, I've never liked it. I've never liked that camera action. I think it's in Mud Runner as well. I don't recall. I don't recall if it is. I mean, I'm complaining about it. There's a there's a camera option that says classic. I don't know if that gets rid of it. I, I'm, I'm sure it doesn't. We need obviously we need to be able to pan in. I get that. I'll take that because obviously trees and stuff get in the way. But just get rid of the auto panning in for when we uh, just driving around and they want us to focus on something. Grab some fuel because we are nearly out. Look at that. Just look at it. Let's get these in. Let's get these sent. Skip, skip, please. There we go. I feel like we're making pretty good time as well. I think we must be about 15 minutes in. Which is not bad to get all the way here. It's pretty, pretty smooth coming through what I like to call the swamp. Wasn't bad at all. I'll grumble at that. But does that mean disaster is waiting for us around the next corner? Or on the next two bridges? Because that's where that'll be. Now you can, I think. I think you can pick up long logs from here. No, they are just medium. That's alright then. So yeah, once we've sort of come through it into here, maybe with some long logs, we can then, oh, medium logs, so we can then pick up medium logs to deliver it in here. Um, I will just double check the fuel situation for them. On my console save, I have a massive dip there. It stayed there for ages. Again, well, that's on console as well. Like I've, I've said before, like the the map is supposed to, is supposedly meant to uh, reset as you come in and out saves and jump 
to different maps, into different regions and stuff. I don't know, but I've always found, especially here, but mine doesn't always. Took that way too wide. I wanted to make sure we tracked round, but maybe not that wide. With the long logs, it's, it's easier than maybe coming through with the uh, double mediums. I think. But yeah, it's, like I say, it's, it's been it's been probably two months since we've uh, we've been in here, so uh, all memory of our previous exploits should be wiped from the terrain. But it is still flickering. You can see it is trying to remember what we've done. It's strange. And there we have it. Long log. Now that is the very last long log to be delivered. Got mediums there. That's all mediums anyway. On Drummond. And we've done those ones timber for the locals they are done they are done they are done so need to get this back I'm not gonna fight we're trying to turn it around like I did previously oh, I'm gonna fight we're trying to get it through there and the hitbox that is Get, I could um, leave this. Actually, I could. Come on, I could leave this trailer. Attach trailer. Delete trailer. It's a free one. There we go. Don't need that slowing us down anymore. Bogging us down. And we can try and get back to uh, Smithsville Dam and the garage there and that's where we'll <laughs> we'll post up and, and wait to be called interaction for a stuck or rolled truck because it will happen it will happen we have way too many deliveries still to do to not have that happen there's every chance this game will bounce me and flip me somewhere on my way back right now <laughs> like i say things have gone very smooth it's worrying. Extremely worrying when things go smooth. Yeah, the uh, the long log trailer, that was a, a modded one. It had no cost. That's why we left one in the road as well. I'm not sure if I said it. I hope you're well. Uh, thank you for coming back to join me halfway through the episode. I hope you're well. Thanks for coming in. Um, yeah. If you're watching along in real time, or if you're watching along later on, you know, let me know in the comments how you, how you come across the series, how are you finding the series. Uh, to those that are watching as I release them, you're finding the series quite frustrating because it's a bit stop and start you know, down. Like I said, I'm going to try and rectify that with this. <laughs> I'll say reboot. It's not reboot, but with this pickup of the series and uh, try and get them out as frequent. I think I said for as frequently as I humanly possibly can. It is such a shame that I can't just switch over and put a low hitch on that. Um, we will take more fuel because why not? Why wouldn't you? You want to have the vehicles build before we leave the map in, you know, a couple of months time. Oh dear. I think I'm probably going to shut up for a little bit as we try and just get this back to the garage. 
enjoy the, the sounds and the sights of Snow Runner.
Well, it's a home stretch now with the uh, P16. The sun is starting to set. Once we've got this parked up at the garage, we will be jumping to the White Western. Oh, should I? I'm not sure if I should. Yeah, I will, I will, I will. I am going to. It's the P16. To manoeuvre that fuel tank. To the login site. By the way, I'm manoeuvre it right now. I might just try and jump over, get the uh, White West sorted after we've connected up here. Oh, but there's a lot in there. But this is going to want to go to the login site here, because once I've done Black River's login, I'm not going to be using that site anymore. We'll be using this one. We'll park that there, and um, we shall jump through Black to back to Black River. Lovely, lovely. Right, let's. Crane. Get this out of here. Uh, should be okay with the fuel. Should be. Take this back to the garage and we're going to get this ready for loggings. If it looks like auto load and logs on, it's going to be too expensive. We will have to bring the Fleet Star over and stick this log and crane on the back. But hopefully, hopefully, we can be naughty and just. Even if it is only these ones, and then maybe put the crane on the Fleet Star in um, Smithfield Dam. So not to make it too expensive because it's, it's sort of out of laziness but I'd like to try and speed it up a little bit As much as I'm looking forward to seeing the back of uh, Michigan after, you know, spending a lot of time here. It's, it's a, I've reset this game and started over so many times. Like, I feel like without the worry of hard mode, if I was to start a normal mode or a new game plus, I'd be able to whip through this so quick. Now, uh, I thought I was going to whip through it quick, but hard mode sort of stuttered us along the way so many times so many times we've done Michigan on different saves with different settings and what have you but yeah so as, as much as I'd like to see it gone for this series the familiarity 
of Michigan will be missed. There is something about the comfort in knowing, pretty much knowing the road network, even the dirt trails and the swamp bits and, you know, just, just knowing where it's pretty much safe to go. Alaska a little bit, I know. Completed Alaska twice, two, three times. Um, I've only dabbled in time in. And because I've never completed all three, I've never, never tried, and this is insane, never tried the DLC maps because I, I punish myself in that way. We don't go look at something new until you've completed the old. But I've restarted 50 million times that we never get anywhere. But hence why this series is going. We do, or we did have, a parallel series um, that I was streaming on Twitch. Whether that ever returns or not, I haven't touched that save since the last Twitch stream. So it's not like that's raced off ahead either. But we were in time here. We had done most of. Is it the Drowned Lands, the first part? We've done most of the jobs in the Drowned Land. And I'd gone off and I'd scouted the next two maps completely out. The small map that you have to go into and do a lot of jobs with the scout vehicle. I think that one we've pretty much completed. You just have like main contract jobs to, to take there. So, so we, we, I've done a lot there. Um, but obviously the, the, the Twitch streams kept dying on us. But I, don't know. I would like to go back to that because I, do, I did enjoy the Twitch streams. I, I like the, the casualness of a Twitch stream. It, it didn't hurt the YouTube algorithm if I wanted to do two Twitch streams. Because Twitch likes it if you do two streams. YouTube don't like it if you do two, two streams, especially if you put out video content as well. So, customize. We are taking off. And we are putting on. We do have a few modded ones, so bear with me. The medium log frame. Or the medium log frame. The truck life medium. Is that a little bit lighter? Oh, that looks like it's going to give us a little bit more wiggle room on the back. And I'm still going to do medium logs. Ways to say. Never come across short logs. It must be somewhere else. Let's just check if there is anything else here. That's the log carrier. Some of these are a little bit. That's a short log frame, which is locked. I do like that. These uh, these OS. It's a short medium log bunk. Oh, I might go with that. I do like the OS ones. I like the trailers that come with them. We'll probably never see them because you have to pay for them. But they have locking axles on the trailers. So we've got an OS medium bunk. So I might want to go with that. Six grand like the others, but it's, it's we've got a mod in there. So I'm going to stick the mod on. And I, I think that's pretty much... We've got the wedge, spare wheel. Not too worried about, I don't think. Oh, well, we got the naughty utility things, haven't we? Spare. Oh, where does that go? On the side. I might put that on, actually. We've paid for it. Why are we not using it? Oh, did it not work with the crane? Spare parts. Let's take some spare parts. Over a spare wheel. What's going on? Right, just in case. Just because you had to do a little repair on the go. If locks on, the winch. I would like a more powerful one on there, but we'll make do. We'll make do. The jet's fine, race is fine, off road gearbox, engine is all good. We haven't got that one that is in Alaska. We don't want to do any repairs on it. So we are out of here. 
back into the night. Right, and then on the back. Let's see if there's an OS. And if there is an OS, it won't be free either. Let's see if there's an OS flatbed. OS medium log trailer. That's what we want. And that does have a few parts for us, so I'm happy to take that as well. We still have to pay for it. Hmm. I mean, the other option, I'm sure I've got a naughty, brief semi-fuel, which is in normal mode. That's good, because that comes full of fuel. In hard mode, I don't think that'll come filled with fuel. It just has the, a large capacity for it. Um, anyway, yeah, we're going we're gonna to sp spend some money on, on it as well. Right, yeah. So you can't sell it, says destroy. Brutal. Absolutely brutal. Oh, so. Do we need to do any repairs? We don't. We're in good nick. It's just visual damage that we've got. Right, what's time? Yeah, we've got a good six and a half, seven hours, so. Let's make our way back. First time using this set of log trailers, so hopefully it doesn't, um, you know, wig out on us. We've had some some dodgy modded equipment on the back of our trucks, so please, please, please be good. A crane that went absolutely mental. We've had cranes that have had legs that go out and do weird stuff All things we don't want sorry I'm getting a bit relaxed I've, I lent right back away hopefully the audio picks me up just fine not have to fiddle with that I have really relaxed being in the white western just suddenly a, a sense of comfort less less worry doing this than the P16 and long logs Although there is just as much danger of me rolling here. It's just that extra familiarity of it. I think I said at the very start, although I've done the game, or done this map many times, and collected the vehicles off this map many times, until this series, I never used the P16. Uh, because I've never done hard mode. I've always uh, done sort of normal mode or New Game Plus. And, um, yeah, I've used modded trucks use mainly use the DLC trucks more than modded trucks although I always because I am if you ever watch my farm sim you'll know that I am a bit of a mod whore and uh, I like to have all the mods so uh, yeah I always have a lot of mods installed and running normally and uh, yeah still still tend to stick with the the DLC so I always felt like well these are what we've paid for let's use them even if I'm not on the maps, I've uh, used the trucks that I can, where I can, if I've got them. I mean, before the car had its fuel tank stripped, and, and like halved, I think, like the little car used to be an absolute beast of a scout. Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Oh, that's going to be worrying. That is, that is a little bit loose. Wonder if that comes with body pivot lock. Is it locked to something? Nothing tells me if it is locked. Let's have a look, see what's. Yeah, it's better. There we go. So that's a big reason why I like the OS um, trailers. Is that the safer route? Uh, yeah, the, the OS um, sideboard trailers and stuff, because they have that dolly lock on them. I wasn't sure if this would have it. It does. 
Oh dear, good job we got them uh, repair parts. Don't wanna burst the tire. We'll have to look after the uh, suspension. Casual comfort, I can say, of uh, being in the White West. Is this the one I want? Have we gotten here quick? Oh, we've gotten here pretty quick, yeah. We'll take it, we'll take it. Why not? It's better than churning up that same track every time. I feel like we got here super quick. That's probably why the dolly was spinning around everywhere. I used to being in that P16 and travelling at a snail's pace, even at full throttle. But now that we've got a, a truck with a bit of poke on it, we're going to have to be careful. Locking the dolly is going to make it a little bit, a little bit more difficult for some of the uh, turns and terrain negotiation, but it shouldn't be too diff shouldn't be too difficult. It's Michigan after all. So how much for some auto loaded logs? Please and thank you, sir and madam. Dip a wheel in. A hundred. See, that's not a lot. A hundred and fifty isn't a lot. That's why I think a hundred and fifty should be how much resources cost. And then if you're auto, it should cost a lot more. But the caveat being that we can sell trailers at. 25% cost. That's what. That's. That would be like a great balance in my books. Because you still got to get the resources. So why is it free if you do it manually and only 150 if you uh, auto? And it's still no more for them. So yeah. 300. Now the first load, we've got three going to the farm, and then it's uh, three to town storage. So we'll see if we can get our first lot over to the farm before sun up, or before, you know, seven o'clock. Awesome, awesome, awesome. It's a shame it's, uh, you know, night and I can't grab a screenshot, but if I could, it'd just be a dark one. Ooh, that's a little bit. Yeah, I nearly missed it, didn't I? That's the, that's the big disadvantage of doing this in the dark. Again, always always had that awful habit of it's not an awful habit. It's there. It's a mechanic in the game. Of skipping through nights. Never really did much gameplay in the night. Always just sort of with quickly uh, you know, top in the map, click click click, and um, yeah, morning again. You can't do that. And uh, as I said before, I've been on my, my console save, which is a normal mode, and I have been naughty and I've been doing that. I need to maybe break that habit while I'm on there, playing that in the lounge while the boy has his nap in the mornings, and actually running nights just so I get comfortable with it again. Yeah, 
hear that? Stuff running around in them trees. I can hear it on my left. I think we can uh, speed this up a little bit. Our tow trailer behaving itself with the, uh, the dolly lock on, the pivot. Should be a simple function in all games that have dolly trailers. All games. That's all it is, is a case of, you know, putting a pin in there. Easy now, easy now. Overconfidence is what costs you. Not the logs, they're only 150. Over, overconfidence. Yeah, just because it's hard mode doesn't mean you can't buy things, just, you know, it's preference to manually load them, and most of the cargoes we will. If it's if it's possible, we will. And we've, we've, we've manually did all the log, long logs, so... Detail on these. Oh, it's not the button I want. There it is. Detail on these is pretty awesome as well. As the shadow comes across over the, and the light, then comes and then the shadows. Yeah, looks good. But for its age, the game holds up and still looks beautiful. Even in Brown, Michigan. But as, as we get to other places, you'll see it's absolutely. If you've not played the game, if you've not seen anything more than what I've showed you, you'll see this game is absolutely beautiful. The, the stark environmental change that we'll get when we hit, hit Alaska. I forgot to fuel up, didn't I? I did. See? Overconfidence is what gets you, so I am going to have to buy some fuel, because I'm not going to have enough to get back. This is what's going to cost me. Did I just buy it all? I brought it all. Okay. That'll be fast fine. I'll live with it. I've succumbed to the fact that I'm buying things at <laughs> this playthrough. Spending cash. To the farm? bit sticky here. A little bit of that sticky icky ooey. So our first two of the three are delivered. Turn around and see if we can get back. This is feeling super, super productive today. Haven't had a day that's felt super productive in Snowman for a long time. I feel like I'm whispering and I'm sitting too far away again. I'm relaxed. Yeah, I feel like we haven't had a, a super productive day. But deliver the long logs. And we, we came from Black River to deliver them. To bring 
the P16 then back into the dam. We've connected up to the fuel ready to go to our medium logging station there. Excuse me, coffee repeating. And then, um, yeah, getting the White Western sorted out. So it's, it's to and from the garage. Getting a naughty load on. Delivering another naughty load. We'll, we'll try and get back as far as we can. If we can get back and load up, ready to just run again, that would be sweet. Because then next episode we'll be able to, or should be able to, uh, finish the farm run. Drop off a single, we could finish off this map next time out. Because it will be two medium log runs, that's it. And then heading back into the dam, scooping up our... Our Land Rover as well, because we will want that to help us shift a little fuel around, I imagine. Why I didn't just opt for the Land Rover and uh, a Scout fuel trailer to shimmy fuel around with for a bit, I don't know. That would have been the sensible option, because I was moving fuel about, so it felt unnecessary for a while. Had that panic, then I. We've not got a lot of fuel left over. We're not going to have a lot of fuel left over, but we've got you know the two, the two large tankers that have fuel in, and I do believe there are at least one other fuel tanker in Island Lakes. I think, I think there is. Sun is coming up. How are we? How are we? A little bit of time yet. Ah. <laughs> Don't mess it up. Don't crash it or anything. Don't send it off anything. Must remember to repair that suspension from earlier. only a little bit, but it only takes a little bit of suspension damage before, before a tyre bursts from impact. Floaty stick is still there. Old friend. Come in this way. Clearly, again, we're going to go in this way. It will come out. Other, I mean, we could come out this way. No reason why not. That hill in that turn is a little bit, a little bit meh. When we do the, uh, the straight up town delivery, we'll probably go back the other way. Anyway, we'll go through the <laughs> through the river crossing. I'm sure we'll be fine. If we have to. We'll detach the trailer and pull it because it's always lighter when you pull it. We'll uh, keep the the who should we bob? We'll keep the uh, the load uh, packed. I think it's a bit naughty to uh, unpack the logs and do it. I mean, we'd, I'd probably lose them. Some people like to. Do that. That's not really my thing. So, another 150. Oh, that's going there. There we go. We've got a spare. What are the odds that we now get stuck? Because of the weight.
as we have been through here we chewed this up so much again I don't care what anyone says my my terrain does not reset properly it has memories you've churned this up like mad right let's remember to uh, grab some fuel as well Parked up on a dry section. It's that it's seven o'clock for the first time. We are actually on time. So yeah, another one. Like I said, I feel like that's been a productive one. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed that. Finally making some progress. Fine. Like I say, he's cracking on with his mediums. In parts, should be pretty quick. Some of them are going to take a while, but some of them should be uh, be relatively quick uh, so yeah hopefully you've enjoyed it if you have give it a big fat thumbs up down below if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button turn the bell notification on find out when new videos are going live as always comments and feedback down there you guys have a wonderful day and hopefully i will see you again soon bye bye